gotten into it. Before that, I was more or less just an IT guy. Um, um, that cool too, but what do you say, Brian? Um, I, well, I'm kind of old school, right? so I got into computers and basically kind of just getting going. But I, I've since done, I do other things like, uh, um, I do other things like Perl, Python. Uh, not, I'm not great at Python yet. I, I wish I, that's a really handy thing to know now. Python is really fairly easy to learn, right? And has like, there's a lot of ham applications that are, that guys are writing in. And so it's kind of fun because it's really into this open source idea. So a lot of people can work on it and, and put, put some time into it and everybody can check each other, each other's code. If you're talking about stuff that's, you know, um, this isn't, this isn't really wanting to stay in, in, in the market. Um, I know I'll do. Sometimes you gotta just improvise, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got as far as Visual Basic, and then I came to a screeching halt. That was... Oh, that's pretty, that's not any slouching material either, no, though. It was, and it was easy, it was fun and easy, so it was, um, Python's probably even a little bit easier than that, believe it or not. Yeah, so, I mean, Visual Basic has the application, and it, it just kind of, things snap into place, more or less, and um, it makes a lot of sense, but the only bummer is it doesn't run on Macs or, or, uh, or Linux. Yeah, and, no, I like to be able to have the freedom and trust, because sometimes, you know, these little Raspberry Pi computers mm -hmm. that are out there, the guys are using them to be right. the flight controller. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I like writing stuff for that and, and being able to... I, you know, I'm involved with the Heard Island. So, um, do you need DK0? You got them already. Right? You know, you got them
guys with the really big power. It does, yeah. 